Yes, students. You might have studied the various conditions to establish the molecular orbitals. Three essential conditions are there to form the molecular orbital. Number one, combining atomic orbital should be of same or similar energy. It is very important one. Number two, combining atomic orbitals should be of same symmetry. Exactly symmetry means what? That concept you will come to know now. Till that x orbital, y orbital, symmetric along x axis, y axis, likewise we are considering. No, that is not the only understanding of this symmetry concept. Symmetry concept means related to this point group, related to this scatter table, related to the Mullikan notations. So what exactly it is that we are going to study and in order to consider the symmetry concept one principle was there and the name of the principle was yes LCAO linear combination of atomic orbitals. So what it is that we are going to learn. And third condition was there should be appreciable overlap. So about the second condition we are working now provided all other conditions are fulfilled. Let us understand the formation of water molecule with the help of LCAO principle, linear combination of atomic orbitals. In true sense, the peripheral atom, that's hydrogen, they form a group. What will the symmetry of that group? That idea we can get on the basis of reducible representation. After reduction, we'll get irreducible representations and those irreducible representation will represent symmetry of those LCAOs. And those LCAOs will combine with the respective orbitals of central atom provided they have same symmetry. The concept will be clear to you. Let us study it one by one. Here, I want to consider example of methane molecule. Carbon is at center and four hydrogens are there around. Those four hydrogens will form a group. Those group orbitals will interact with the orbitals of the central atom. That's a carbon. What are the possible symmetries which can interact with the orbitals of the carbon that we are going to learn? So let us establish LCAOs for the methane molecule and symmetries of the orbitals of the carbon. It's a character table for methane molecule. Total 24 operations are there. Five classes and five irreducible representations which are those a1 a2 e t1 and t2 by bond vector method we can obtain the reducible representation in methane molecule how many bonds are there four so by identity operation four are undisturbed therefore four is represented by c3 operation means rotation by 120 degree a bond which is a rotation axis is undisturbed so one is represented by c2 operation all bonds are disturbed so zero is a character below c2 by s4 operation it is similar to the c2 so there also all bonds are disturbed so zero is a representation by dihedral plane two bonds through which the dihedral plane passes are undisturbed therefore two is represented hence four one zero zero two is our reducible representation and by reduction formula if we simplify we will get that reducible representation can be obtained from a1 and t2 these are the lcaos from four hydrogens which form group orbitals so from the team of hydrogen two players are there a1 and t2 and from the team of carbon let us see what are the symmetries for the various orbitals present in the carbon if you have to come to the 2s orbital of carbon its symmetry is a1 because that 2s orbital is perically symmetric symmetric for ind symmetric for c3 symmetric for c2 symmetric for s4 symmetric for sigma d so a1 is a presentation and the set of three orbitals that's a 2p orbital is our t2 set so as per the basis of the molecular orbital three the orbital which have the same symmetry will combine so a1 orbital from the carbon and a1 group orbital from the hydrogen will combine to produce 2a1 and 3a1 now question you will be with why 2a1 because 1a1 means our oneness orbital of the carbon let it be non-bonding but it has a symmetry a1 so that will be the 1a1 2a1 is a bonding orbital 3a1 is anti-bonding orbital and what about the t2 t2 from carbon will interact with the t2 from the lcaos from hydrogens to produce 1t2 and 2t2 1t2 is a bonding orbital and 2t2 is anti-bonding orbital total how many electrons are there in the methane molecule eight electrons are there two are in 2a1 and six are there in 1t2 how many bonds four bonds so from this you might have understood how the lcaos or how the molecular symmetry how the group theory is applied to describe the various molecular orbitals here we have the discussion about the sigma bonding in water molecule ammonia molecule and this methane molecule it is very clear that in tetrahedral molecule five irreducible representations are possible which are those a1 a2 e t1 and t2 my question for you as a homework is how many times the t1 irreducible representations do occur in the reducible representation which is obtained by bond vector method just write that number 
that T1 occurs in that reducible representation.